Hi, I'm, An I'm Angela Anderson, and I have my friend Carolyn Gore here with me today. Hi, guys. And we are going to paint some cute little snowman ornaments. Um, this is what, this little example that I did a couple years ago. And we're going to do, I think, four, if we can get through them, um, of these little mini canvases here. You can use whatever size you want. I had, um, this one is a two by three, two inch by three inch, I think. And, well maybe a little bit more, maybe like two and a half. And these are three by threes. So that looks like almost that. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and do those four today. And this should be a fun project. I really love painting snowmen. I have a snowman collection. So it's kind of one of my favorite things to paint, especially this time of year. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Well, I have it kind of zoomed in because I figure we're going to spend a lot of time zoomed in. So I have a variety of paint colors here. Um, you can kind of adjust however you want to. You don't have to go by the same colors that I'm using, but I'm just gonna do each one with a different kind of background and that'll give you some options for when you do yours if you try this. Um, I wanted to say that I have a group on Facebook that I just started called Thankful Art and um, the link is in the description so if you do this project we would love to see it um, you can share it on that group and we have a lot of fun we share other projects that we've done and things like that so let's get started here i know um, i'm overlapping cinnamon cooney my friend is doing a a live show and she had delay issues too so i delayed mine a little bit here starting but um we are kind of on a schedule here ourselves so we're just going to go ahead and go with it and hopefully you can watch um, the replay of the parts that you've missed of the beginning of this um, these are these from hobby lobby the these i actually got these from dick Pli dick blick but they do sell them at hobby lobby in packages and all over the place i've seen them pretty much every craft store that i've been to i've you probably even get them at Walmart I think so when they come in in like a pack of four or more sometimes um, so there are some are be better made than others like this one was one that you know has really nice stapled back and everything um, so this was like a really nice canvas um, these are a little bit cheaper they're kind of just glued together but they still will do the trick so if you don't have to pay, and they're really cheap I think they're less than a dollar a piece so they're great for like gifts and things. Um, I'm going to do the first one here with quinacridone on magenta for the background. Um, so we're going to do like a two part process on our backgrounds. If you wanted to simplify this, you could skip, skip this step and just do the blue straight up um, on your backgrounds. But I kind of like to have a little bit extra something showing through. So this gives a little more layered effect. We even have Christmas music playing today, so I've got some royalty-free Christmas music. We are in the mood. Yes, it is. I did get my Christmas tree up early this year. I usually um, put the tree up in Thanksgiving and then takes me uh, several weeks to get it decorated usually. So, But I was like bound and determined because I knew I was going to be busy this month with all kinds of painting projects and I didn't have time to decorate it so we did it last weekend so my house is very Christmassy still haven't put up my snowman though I have a huge snowman collection um, I'll post pictures of it on my Facebook group when I get it done let me see oh let me put that where you could see it I guess that would help there we go all right so that one will have a pink background I did kind of a light coat I didn't go super dark that magenta is very concentrated so I just kind of watered it down just a little bit and then this one I think I'm gonna do like a yellow ochre let me see is this the right one no nope this isn't the right one one of these we'll do yellow ochre in the background you can see kind of the different effect that each one of these will have that having these different colors in the background will kind of give them each a different sort of mood and color story so I like to play with this and especially with these snowmen because they're all pretty basic so got to kind of jazz them up a little bit and you could leave the sides um, blank I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it 
while we're here today because I may leave them showing but I used ribbon on mine to seal the edges so that's a neat little trick and it kind of makes it a little more festive and it hides your whoa, I am making a mess with this one these are hard to hold <laughs> You have any chat, Carolyn? Everybody's coming in saying oh, good. hello. Hi, Lindsay. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for joining me. Lindsay's one of my art heroes. I want to be here when I grow up. <laughs> yes. The Sherpa is also listening. Oh, Cinnamon, did you finish yours? I was worried I was overlapping you, but maybe, maybe not too bad. It timed okay. Great. Good deal. Okay, here's my little example guy. If you just tuning in, I'm going to show you here. Here's my little sketch. Oh, can you see them? Um, we're going to do four. We're going to do one with like little hanging Christmas lights. This one's got some gifts. This one's got our, his artist easel out. And this guy's got some birds and things. So right now I'm just kind of basing in some backgrounds. And we're going to paint over it with the blue, but we're kind of doing a different color story for each one of these. Um, this one is ultramarine blue. This one is my magenta. This one, oh, this one's going to be the halo one. I'll wait for that one. So this one's going to have some ultramarine blue. I think ultramarine blue is my favorite. It's got that purpley tone to it. I just love it. We got any questions going on, Carolyn? This is the chatter. Everybody's just commenting. All those are. That some of them are hard to hold, but they are great Christmas decorations. You can easily, after they dry, put them on your tree. That's right. Who else with us today? So we got quite a crew. We still have some coming over from Cinnamon's session. We're glad you guys are here. You made it. Timing worked out just right. Perfect. And then I have a new one that just says they just subscribed Wonderful. to your channel. It's I'm not being super careful with this background. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to smooth it out so I don't have any rough bumps. Okay, that's good. So if you're just joining us, we've got Quinacridone magenta. Uh, this one is yellow ochre. This one's ultramarine blue. And then this one we're going to do phthalo blue. And I think I'm going to use um, this premixed color. It's called light permanent blue. It's one of my favorite light blues because um, I don't know what you would mix it. It's probably close to like a phthalo blue with, a, with some white in it. Um, but it's just a nice color, especially for a project like this where if you're in a hurry, it's a good color to have. For It's a great sky color. I use it for all kinds of things. And I've got to wash my hands off. I'm a messy painter. All right. Sorry about that. So for this one, I thought, let me go ahead and move these out of the way so they don't get any extra paint on them in case I drop it, which I am prone to do. Well, Marty asked if I wanted to paint in a, in a lighter color object, what would my underpainting be? A lighter color object? Um, it depends on the color that you're painting over the top of it. Um, I... The, this uh, yellow ochre is kind of a pretty standard uh, color that looks good just about under anything. Um, it's kind of one of my go-to colors for underpainting. Paint Party Girl wants to know how many you're painting, all four or more? Yeah, I'm going to paint all four. For so sure. we're going to do, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should be able to get through them. Uh, they go pretty fast because they're so small. So um, this is Thalo Blue. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on a little water. Misty Thompson says it's her first time here. Welcome. 
I think we got a good crew coming over from Cinnamon's show, so that's awesome. I'm glad we it worked out. It's hard to well, Carolyn, you're gonna have to start talking up. We need to get Carolyn a mic, but I haven't figured out how to how to make that work with my system. So I think there's a way, but I'm not super tech savvy. I got to get my son out here and get him to help us figure out how to do that. So I guess I shouldn't mess with my sides right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of that light. Permanent blue. Let me move my palette over so you can see a little bit better. Hi, Mark. This We're just going to put that right Angel. in the center. Sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. Where's Stephanie? Is she here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take off whatever paint I have in my brush so that now I can blend it once I get my colors on there. Just you know, clean my brush off and then I'll blend it out a little bit and that way I won't get too much paint moved around. If it feels like it's too much, you can just wipe it off. I'm going to do sort of a halo effect on this one. It'll have some trees and some little birds and things. Okay, I think that's probably good. might get a little bit more of that light blue. Let me mark it up here. I got people coming in from Cinnamons. They Great. said they're eating. And they're, oh, no. <laughs> they're still painting on the lion picture. <laughs> oh, my. I applaud her for doing that. that she was, was like, yeah, that was a big project to try to do live. That's for, she's very brave. <laughs> so Cinnamon and I have big news. I don't know if she's able to sky. I don't know if I have my team in here, Cinnamon, to go ahead and Skype it, but I'll go ahead and mention this. We've got, Cinnamon and I, if you missed our uh, winter painting collaboration, we did one um, a few weeks ago and painted a, uh, so Cinnamon and I have Hard big news. Yeah, I don't know if she's able to coordinate it and did a whole day of painting and so we're planning on doing another collaboration. Oh, by the way, here's my mug. Oh, I've got my bug, my brushes in it. This is my little mug that I got from our Red Bubble store. Isn't it cute? So, anyhow, <clears throat> we're going to do another one in February. I think we decided our date is going to be February 6th. So put that on your calendars. If you enjoyed our collaboration last time, it should be a lot of fun. We're doing another collaboration. Uh-oh. He went full screen. <laughs> there we go. Um, sorry, we had a little malfunction there. Um, so we had an, another collaboration that we we did, and we'll do we'll do a new one. We haven't decided what we're our um, theme is going to be for this new one in February. I think we're thinking maybe Valentine's. So if you haven't joined our Angeloni Facebook group. We're going to have a poll come on. <clears throat> Click in the box. Sorry, we're having. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I think this one is dry. Very good. We timed that just right. I'm going to move this one out of the way here. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I think that's about good. I need to put some tape down so I don't move him out of sight outside of his little comfort zone there. Or something. I'll try to remember. Hi, Cinnamon. Okay, so this is going to be my little artist one here. There's my picture of him. And I'm going to do this light blue over the top of this magenta. And I'm going to do it darkest or more solid in the middle here. And then I'm going to, as I go toward the outside, I'm going to let that paint just sort of dry brush around those edges. So I'm leaving a lot of that, oops, a lot of that showing there. holding this in my hand so y'all need to 
I <laughs> said that. <laughs> I know the mugs are so cute. I got the pillows and the mug from the event. I think I'm gonna get if we do a new mug, I'll I'll get the new one every time we do one. I kind of got a mug collection going on anyway, so it's perfect yeah, for me. Too. Yeah, it's great for the brushes. It kind of lets them sort of breathe a little bit. Oops. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me zoom out just a little bit because I keep moving my arm out. There we go. Okay. That's better. And I'm going to go ahead and do my sides too while I'm at it real quickly. Okay. So there's our first one here. There's our background for him. And I hope you can see that. The corners are kind of still showing some of that pink showing through. Let me grab my other two here and I'm going to use the same color over these ones. I think, actually, I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'll use this over this color, this one. And then I think I'm going to use a different one over this. Hi, Mona. Glad you're here. Glad you're still awake. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Mona is dedicated. We... She's a world traveler today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that music is throwing me off. It's it's like I'm not used to having it on in the background. I feel like I'm in a mall or something. <laughs> I'm not even sure they can even hear it. But... It needs to be maybe a little louder. I don't know. Okay, so this is that light blue permanent again. If you don't have this color, what you could do is just add a little bit of white to whatever. Um, this was ultramarine blue, so you could add a little white to the ultramarine blue, or you could add some white to a thalo blue and mix it. Um, it's probably closer to a thalo blue because it's a little bit of a greenish blue. Um, it's more on the green side than the purpley side, um, but either one would be fine. I could even have just added white to the ultramarine blue here to do this one. And yes, Stephanie, but, we have Angela's Mark here too. Yes, Mark is here. He's trying to help keep the technical issues down to a minimum. We had, we, yeah, we had a problem starting, so I'm kind of glad that we had a little delay. That way, Cinnamon had a chance to finish her lion, which was awesome. What color blue is the lighter? I missed it. The lighter blue is a light blue permanent. It's Kind of a pre-mixed light blue, um, so it's kind of my go-to light blue. I'd like it for the sky. I mean, I just, I kind of, I'm sort of a a color hound, anyways. And if there's a color out there, I want to buy it. So I pretty much buy almost every color that's out there, anyways. And it's kind of become one of my favorite cheat colors because you don't have to mix anything. You just can kind of grab it when you're in a hurry and go. So I figured for this it'd be fun. I think I'm going to try this. This is Cobalt Teal. I think I'm going to try this over. Ooh, isn't that neat? I have a different color. Cinnamon says hi, Mark. Sue Clark says hi, Mark. Well, we love the Marks around here. I know. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you can't hear the music? Okay, we can turn it up a little bit. Mark's a trooper. He's our morning person in the family. We have a morning person and an evening person. I am the evening schedule, so anything that happened after about 9 p.m. was my duty to take care of, and Mark is pretty much anything happening before 9 a.m. is his duty, so he was up first thing this morning taking Spencer to, to um, all region band tryouts and I got to sleep in so he's a good guy. We have someone asking how do you clean your brushes? I use, um, there's a product, let me see if I can find it real easily here, yep. This pink soap. Um, if, if I'm in a pinch I'll use dish soap but um, it can be drying on the brushes so I'll use pink soap whenever I can, um, but yeah, 
cleaning your brushes is a big deal. You definitely, you can ruin a really good brush very quickly if you don't clean it properly. So I always make sure that I, if I can't clean my brush right away, I leave it in water, which is why half of my brushes are cracked like this. But I'd rather have them cracked than dried out with paint in them. So, um, you know. Witzel says crank up the tunes. Crank up the tunes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Witzel? You'd rather hear the tunes than us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have another. Oh, paint party girl. Her husband's name is Mark, too. Well, we got Marks all around. Am I staying in camera? I hope. I hope. I hope. Yeah, it, is. it is? Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right. I, like the bottom one. You got the I know. Yeah, this is. I found this. Um, I had it with my gift wrap and I thought it'd be perfect. It kind of tears easily though, so I've used it for another video. It has a bunch of tape, taped spots where I tore it. So. Well, somebody's asking, so you should not use dish soap to clean your brushes? Um, you can. It's not, yeah. I mean, it's fine. There, I, I prefer using a softer soap. Um, dish soap can be somewhat harsh on them, but acrylic, acrylics are hard on your brushes anyways, um, especially a soft natural bristle brushes, um, acrylics will tear them up. So the brushes, the, the brush soap has conditioners in it that kind of helps put some of the natural oils and things I think back into them. The dish soap has so much oil removing product properties that it can kind of dry out your brushes. So, sorry, this is really exciting. Me washing my hands here. So, what are you laughing at? Oh, Janine was just checking in to see what you missed. People were just telling that they just you just done the overcoat. Yeah, I'm just doing the base coats here. Awesome, wonderful. Okay, let me zoom back in here. Oh, I think I'm gonna turn my. Yes, yes, these ones were from Dick Blick. Yes, they came in a little. Um, four pack, I think. Yeah. They're all saying that most of them are always square, rectangle. They don't hardly ever see any round ones. <clears throat> and they wanted to know where you got the soap from. I got it at Hobby Lobby. They sell it pretty much anywhere where you get your paints at. Um, it's kind of just an artist, basic um, artist soap. But any any soap that's meant for brushes is good. But when I use it, you you know, you put a little, you wash out your brush as much as you can in the sink. So rinse it out really good. And then put a little bit of the soap in the palm of your hand and just run your brush back and forth and really try to get that soap worked up into the silver or the you know, metal ferrule and then rinse it out. And then I test it on a white paper towel. And if it comes out with, with color right here, you'll see, you just keep going, keep, keep, doing it over and over again until it's clear. So that's how you can kind of tell if it's washed right or not. Some people are saying baby shampoo and Murphy's Ah, oh, that's soap. a good, yes, yeah. But somebody said baby shampoo and your brushes won't cry. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Who is? Rhea. Rhea, oh Rhea, I'm sorry. I know you were, she said she's gotta go. Oh darn, well. I'm glad you got to catch the beginning part at least. This will be rebroadcast once watch it's. It later. Yeah, you can watch it later. Thank you for joining us. And okay, let me see. Order it online. Yeah, I order it online. Yeah, no, we don't have. We have a Hobby Lobby. We got a Hobby Lobby a few years back, and I was super excited about that because before that I had to go about 40 minutes away to get anything yeah, art related. Michael's. Yeah, Michaels. Mm -hmm. Hobby Lobby. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this one. This is our halo one. This will be our one with our little trees and the little birds in the trees. So I'm gonna set these aside to dry. And I'm going to get some of this titanium beige, or I'm sorry, this one's called oh, unbleached titanium, sorry. Let me wet down my paints. They're starting to dry in this light yeah okay so I'm gonna figure out my um, 
my foreground here and I'm just going to lightly, I have very little paint on my brush and I'm just going to lightly sort of make a foreground here that's lightly bowl shaped like that, okay? And it's not all the way white. I think this one I'm going to maybe put some iridescent paints over it. So we're going to start with this um, off-white color and then we'll work our way back up to some brighter colors. So we'll do that. And then I think I'm going to use my liner brush here and some of the titanium white. Monica. <laughs> Good. We've got a great group watching. This is awesome. This is my first live show since I did the collaboration with Cinnamon. So I think I got a lot of our group people from our Angeluni group who found out about my live shows from her. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put my snowman sort of in this area here. So I think I'm going to put a couple of trees kind of coming off around behind him and just sort of going off the side of the canvas here. And remember when you're doing these, you just kind of want to do Y shape. I need to put my hand down. Y shapes. So here's your first Y here. Another Y right here, another one here. That way they'll all be kind of pointing in the right direction. And I'm just going to kind of make some random branches. Can you see that? Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay. And where our tree hits the ground here, I'm just going to make it a little bit wider just at the base. Okay. That's good. I want to keep them up kind of high because I don't want them to compete with my snowman too much. So, and let's put this one in over here. They're kind of angling in towards him just a little bit. My paint's a little bit too watery. It's pooling up on me there. There we go. It's so quiet in here tonight. The dreaded liner brush. You could do this with um, your tooth pick. I was going to show that. I I use the toothpick with my kids class a lot because it seems like it's a little bit less intimidating to them. So um, and you'd probably want to use a craft paint because they don't work really well with the thick heavy body paint because they're so thick they just kind of stick to the toothpick. But you can use it to do your tree branches. I'm glad she mentioned that because I meant to show you this. So it's a good little trick. Then you don't have to worry about your liner brush getting too wide or you know making your lines too thick or whatever. You can just use your little toothpick to draw in and it's actually really nice because it makes random shapes. It kind of catches on the canvas. The camera's shaking? Yeah. When it looks like when you're hitting the table it's okay. All right. We're having light tremors here. Yeah, it may be Carolyn's elbows on the table too. This this is get affected by this table. Mm -hmm. So just making sure we, I know I need to get, we were just talking about that. I need to figure out a new rig for my camera next year. Okay, so that's our little trees. I don't want to do too much detail right now. I think I'm going to put a little bird in here somewhere at some point, but right now so um, is it shaking when I do that it's just shaking mine I think it's I think it's coming from that table and then I'm gonna put a little bit more of this white in here and I'm just using this liner brush again and I'm gonna 
zigzag a little highlight on my snow. Okay, thank you. All right, so that's him. Let's set him down. What's going on with our chat? So they were asking all kinds of questions about the brushes, fabric softener, bridle, I mean, uh, saddle cleaner. All kinds of For things. brushes? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy with some. This is our artist one. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this unbleached titanium in the bottom of him, too. Let me see which way I want to. I think I like that there so I'm gonna put him like this and he's gonna have a little bit more going on he's gonna have kind of like two layers so I'm gonna do one layer and I've just barely got any paint on my brush here I'm just sort of catching the height the brightest part is gonna be at the top there and then it's sort of just barely touching it down some of these other lower areas. So my snowman's going to sit right here. His easel is going to sit on this hill here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put both of those in there like that. All right? And leave a little bit of that dark, that blue back in there so we know where to set him. Let's go ahead and put in our snowman shape too while we're at it. Hi, Lynn. We're glad you're with us all the way from the UK. And you could do your snowman either way. I do some of them sometimes with my deer foot stippler. Uh, some, like these ones, I brushed on the snowman. I think this one I'm going to brush on, and I think the, the other ones I'm going to use the deer foot, the taller ones. So I'm going to put in his body here. It's just a big old oval. And I'm leaving enough room over to the side here. I may move him just a little bit wider. Use up this canvas. And if you notice, I'm kind of leaving some of that blue showing through. So that'll do some of your shadowing for you. And I'm trying not to go too far down here and overlap too much on our, okay, just like that. Leaving a little bit of space in between the bottom of him and where our snow is. And that'll kind of give it the illusion of a little shadow right there. Okay, then I'm going to make his head. Right up here. Okay. And this is just our base color. This isn't going to be the finished, you know, color that we're having our snowman. He's not going to be beige, but um, this is a good base color. That way, when we put on our white, he'll look a little bit brighter. So I think that's good. Let's go ahead and set him aside for now. Let's go ahead and put this one on too while we have him. And he's going to be basically the same shape here. It's just a big old oval. We'll make him a little bit more round. Or Carolyn. Oh, Marilyn, she had to go, but someone said, Is there anyone here who has tried the Tri Art acrylics? No, I haven't. It's a bit more choice there in Australia. Yeah, somebody was telling me the prices in Australia are really high for some of the 
acrylic supplies and paints and things. And so they have to rely on Amazon. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay, I want him set down in there a little bit, so I think I'm going to bring him down. What kind of camera is Angela using? I am using a Sony Handycam. I got him for Christmas a couple years ago. Works pretty good. I think I might be ready for a little bit better camera. Mm -hmm. I've had a few issues with this one, but it's been pretty reliable on the whole, though. I'm going to make him a little bit. That they're having uh, power in and out issues right now. Oh, wow. Good thing it was now, not when she Yeah, no her. joke. I know. <laughs> She's here. Okay. Good. Well, she wanted to see this artist snowman, I think. We were talking about him. So I'm doing this one for cinnamon. All right, let's do some of these bigger ones here. Let's let those dry. It's really important with acrylics to let your layers dry, especially with this kind of painting where I'm doing multiple colors on top of each other. Um, if you try to work on this while it's sticky, um, you'll just end up lifting all of the color off your canvas completely. So we we'll let these dry, and that's why I like, especially when I'm working on little mini canva canvases like this, it's great because I can just sort of work between the canvases and let them dry. I don't have to pull out my hair dryer. I think Paint Party Girl was wondering, was it white that you used for the snowman or something? The other? snowman was uh, unbleached titanium to start with. Uh huh. And then I'll be adding white on top of it also. So you could even use like a light gray. I've used, I think this one, I used several different colors. It's just, I've sometimes I'll use a light blue. Um, in fact, let's do this one is my one with the thing. Let me see. Set these aside. Sorry, I know I'm zoomed in here, so I'm trying to make room for things where I can see them. Okay, let's do. Let's do our snowman with some of this cobalt teal and some white. So this will be our under color for this snowman on this one. And I've switched to my Deerfoot stippler and I'm going to just pounce in this guy. And I'm going to pounce in my foreground. Lightly. As you get toward the bottom, you just pounce a little bit lighter and let a little bit more of that undercoat show through. We'll do several layers on him too, so this is just our first coat. And okay, the music is definitely throwing me off. I don't know why it is. It's just like <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's freaking me out. And I usually paint with music, but they can't hear it anyways. Okay, good. We'll just turn it off because it's like <laughs> messing me up. Okay, so this is the guy that's going to have the string of lights. So I think I'm going to put a little Christmas tree right in here, just a small one. And um, so I'm just kind of stacking my little circles. I'm getting bigger as they go up. This is actually a pretty good, decent color. I'm liking this color for my undercoat. It's got that little bit of a teal color in it. And on our outside edges, if you'll turn your brush so that the tip is pointing outward, you'll get nice little fuzzy edges out there. And then um, if you wanted to, if you want to simplify this for a kid's project, what you could do at this point is while this is still wet, you could come in with some of this darker color and put in your shadow just on one side. And 
it's a nice little shortcut and then what we'll do is come back in with the white on this other side so I'm going to go ahead and do this one sort of an easy this will be our like easy version project so I want it nice and dark up underneath and I'm using this cobalt teal here oh and I'm just putting it on my brush and I'm angling it in toward my snowman so that it's using the tip of it to draw and that's a little bit too bright so if you get it too much on your brush just wipe it off don't panic and anyone then we can come HTOs? back in anyone know if HTOs would work on top of acrylics I don't even know what that is okay so I blended that back out And H two O work? Yeah, um, that. No, I think it was something else. Okay. Else okay, good. Our son has some talking. Okay, <laughs> good. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Oh, I know she's doing a Doctor Who thing. I need to watch Doctor Who. I. I <laughs> oh, Dr. Who Snowman, that'd be fun. Okay, so I kind of like that green. Isn't that cool? That looks nice. That's that cobalt teal. So his base was that cobalt teal with white, and then the shadow color was the cobalt teal underneath him, and then along this one side. And mostly toward the bottom edge is the darker areas, okay? And then let's do this guy. The girls talking, they would not want a yellow snowman. No, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very tricky. You don't want, you want to stay away from the yellow snow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm in kind of a low-key mood today. I had a really stressful week for some reason. It just had that metallic painting. I could not figure out how to film it so I'm just glad to be doing this today because this is kind of my comfort zone I love painting snowmen okay let's see how about we try doing this light blue with some white on this dude for our base we'll do the opposite of what we did here And this guy is going to have, actually, I need to do the tree on him first, but we'll go ahead and put in our foreground. He's going to have some snow down here. And then I'm going to switch it over to my number four, my favorite brush. And we'll do a little pine tree back in here for this guy. And I've got some phthalo green. Sue Clark said your metallic was awesome. Oh, thank you, Sue. It was fun. That was really fun. I'm, don't, I'm not a texture painter. Like, I did decorative painting on wood for years, and the, it's very, very flat. There's no texture on that at all. And so, like, to do any kind of texture is way outside my comfort zone. And I really enjoyed it. It was just, like, I'm not, you know, I, I loved it. That was a fun project. It was just definitely not my normal thing to do. So, I think I'm going to, I don't want to put too much of this Christmas tree overlapping him, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in back in here. I'm just going to put some lines in. He's going to be kind of right here, so I'm going to try to stay away from that. I'm not going to do a lot of it on this side. I'm just going to sort of make him sort of going off the edge there. And I think most of this is going to be covered up by our snowman. So, that's good. Kind of figure out where your tree trunk is and then kind of bring your branches down from the sides of that. Some of these will come kind of straight down, the ones in the middle, 
and then the ones on the outer sides are going to kind of curve back out. I don't think I'll have to really do a whole lot with the tree because it's kind of already got the right colors in it. So, uh, doing some of the branch. I feel like my lighting is a little bit harsh. No, because the camera's so close. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so I'll give it a full effect of it. Okay. Well, I think we're good there. I just want to make sure that I've got my branches far enough over. I'll go ahead and put a few in there. So my snowman covers him. Okay. If you wanted to, you could use a watercolor pencil or something, or some chalk or something just to kind of chalk in your design. Now, now I'm going to go in here with my color. Put my snowman in and this guy is going to have some gifts that he's holding really should do maybe I'll do this one with the light oh no I don't want it never mind I'm sorry I'm talking to myself I do this a lot I have conversations in my head and then mumble we'll go we'll stick with the plan this will be our little gift giver snowman And I need to leave room up here for his hat to go. So he's kind of facing this way in my picture. So his head is a little bit off center. So you're making him look a certain direction. Yeah, he's going to be looking this way. So okay. his head is going to be kind of, hat's going to be tilted off this way. And then his arms are going to be in front. Here's the reference photo. Here's a reference sketch. Oh. So I'm just kind of trying to sort of match it up. Right. Should here I'll do that. I'll set it up like that so you can see what I'm drawing, how it relates. I think that's good. And let's go ahead and put in our shadow too while we're at it, since that worked out so good with that other one. Let's do our. Blue. Yeah, that looks good. Fine for for snow, anything like blues and grays, even greens or brown, as long as it doesn't get too yellow. You're no good. Yellow. <laughs> no yellow. Which kind of gives us a shadow effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gray is a good color. I just like to have the, the blue, though, because it makes it a little bit more like icy feeling. It's sort of got that feeling of snow. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, let that dry, and then I'll probably come back in with a little bit deeper colors and just do a light wash over it to darken up just a few of the areas. But if you go ahead and kind of start out your shadows, um, they'll give you a head start. Clean out here. How many do we have? 81. Very good. We're talking about how some of them are having a hard time painting trees. Painting trees. So they, a lot of them have just painted over and over again. Oh, really? Oh, my. <laughs> they can be tricky. I, I like, I personally like painting trees, but yeah, they can be kind of tricky to paint. Um, I'm going to do a winter landscape sort of similar to this with some um, birch trees and maybe like a little fox and um, things in for in a couple of weeks. I'm not sure exactly when. Probably going to film it early and try to release it around Christmas. Uh, so. Because yeah, we're asking, are you going to give us the templates? Oh, for these snowmen? Yes, that'll, that'll be, I don't know when. It's I've got another lady that does those for me and she's kind of, you know, got her own projects that she's also an artist, so she's working on other stuff too. So well, let's go ahead and do our top coat on this guy. So I've got my actually the I templates think templates will be on the way. 
Yes, they're on the way. Um, Okay, now I've got white here and I'm just going to go back over and I'm sort of dry brushing over the top of this unbleached titanium. And I'm wanting it light, brightest in the middle and then towards the outside edges I'm kind of letting a little bit of that under color show through. All right, and then I'm going to put some more of it up here. Good. Okay, so he's coming along. I think what I'm going to do is come in here and do, I'll use the phthalo blue since that's our background color and I'm going to add white to it. I don't want it too dark. I don't want it to overwhelm it at this point. I'm going to put a little bit of that color in. And I've kind of loaded it just on kind of halfway on my brush. I've wet it down just a little bit. And if you get too much on your brush, just wipe it off. I'm going to set down a little bit of it. Yeah, move it around. There we go. We're just starting to put in a little bit of a shadow on him. I think I had him too low there, sorry. No. Okay. Well, no, I had him down here yeah. when I was doing it. I'm not going to put too much of my shadows in because once I put in my scarf, then I'm going to want to put in my shadow underneath that too. So um, I'll put in a little bit now, but then I may add some more shadows later. So he's pretty good, I think. And then let's get our artist snowman going here. How much time have we spent? 30. What time did we start? 3.30. 3 so we've been going about an hour. Okay, I need to get going here. These may be taking longer than I thought they were going to. They're pretty detailed. Quite a few of them. Sense of blue is the favorite background. This blue one here? Mm. Yeah. Very dramatic. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of, let's go ahead and add some of that cobalt teal to this guy just along this one side. And I just left the white in my brush and picked up a little bit of cobalt teal and I'm just brushing it in to the one side of his head here. And then we'll put some of the snow in here too. Whatever's left over on my brush here, I'm just kind of going to brush it on there, dry brush it. You can get a little bit brighter highlight right here where that transition is between this snowman hill and the other one. Okay. That's good. All right. So, good. That one looks good. This one, let's get some more white on these dudes and we'll be ready to start putting in some of our fun details. Well, Connor, so I like playing around with the glitter, adding glitter here and there and things. Yes. And is that an artist nightmare? Or? 
Are glitter? <laughs> oh no, I think uh, it's an it's a teacher's nightmare. That's for sure. <laughs> I've taught, I did a VBS class one year and we did these white bowls that I, we decoupaged the insides of them with tissue paper, which was in itself nightmare. And then I got the idea, no, I must have done the outside of them. Yeah, we did the outside of them decoupaged with tissue paper and then we glittered them. Oh my gosh like literally 80 kids come through glittering everywhere it was a mess it was fun they had a blast but oh my goodness i decided after that i was never using glitter in vbs again <laughs> okay there we go this was white so i've just added white in on top Let's see how many layers we've got now going on really already has some dimension to him let's do this one this is our so that was him so this is our gift guy yeah really yeah okay I like the screen. there we go like that we'll do some white on this guy try not to go too much over your shadow area you want a little bit so just do a lighter touch with the tip of your brush in those areas then when you get over here you can kind of pounce a little bit harder into those areas where you want it brightest and I'm still not going right up to the edge I still kind of want to leave a little bit of a shadow along that outside edge so that it looks a little bit rounded so here we go Janine has her kids watching. They can't wait awesome. to see the snowmen. They've been doing nutcrackers. Oh, yeah. I love cinnamon's nutcrackers. They've been really fun. I need to paint myself one. I haven't had time to yet, but I'm definitely that's on my to-do list. My son Jordan likes snowmen or likes nutcrackers. We have two huge nutcrackers. Well, not huge. They're like, you know, two feet or something that sit on either side of our fireplace and our cat Oliver is scared of them. He won't he won't pass by when they, they're close. He goes way around the, the nutcrackers. <laughs> He's like scared of cat. Okay, let's see which one of these is dry. Um I think this one's looking pretty good. Okay, so here's what kind of brush are you using? Um, these are, well, this one was a quarter inch deer foot stippler, and it's got an angled bristle, oh, angled head. It's kind of stiff bristled. If you don't have one of these, one of the guys, uh, somebody told me you could buy one of these really cheap stencil brushes like this and cut it. Just take it and cut it at an angle and make your own. So I thought that was a fabulous idea because these are like really cheap. Uh, and come in a big pack of like four usually so um, but you can buy them online at Deer, at uh, like Dick Blick or other places they have um, ones that are soft bristled and I don't like those as well these are I don't know what brand these are a Royal Majestic but they were they were too soft so you want them to be a little bit stiff bristled to get the best results, I find. So, Which I think that's a funny name for deer Deerfoot. I know, yeah. <laughs> Not my name. So. <laughs> okay, let's put in our little mini Christmas tree right here in front of this guy. I think he's pretty good. I think I like his shadowing and his texture and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and leave him as is. And we'll put in our little Christmas tree. I'm going to use this phthalo green but I don't want it that bright, so I'm going to tone it down a little bit with some white. Ooh, look at that color. That's wild. Let's add some raw sienna to that dude. Just cut that down to size. Make it a little bit more like a sage green. That's prettier. Okay. 
And I've got my number four around. You could use a liner brush with this if you want to, if you're not comfortable with the number four. Um, so I've loaded up mainly with this color. And then I think I'm going to run the back end of the brush a little bit through that thick paint. Oh, these are drying out. Pick up a little bit more of that. Yeah, there we go. So we got a little bit of that brighter green on one side and then the lighter green on the other. And I think I'm going to do the top the light color at the top here and as I draw it it should well it's not showing up very good for us sorry we'll just get a little bit more of that darker color there we go This is our little Christmas tree that he's going to be decorating with lights. So, bring him right here. That's good. Clean that out and pick up a little bit of white. Add just a tiny bit of blue to that white so it's not so bright. The very bottom of it. You're not getting it on camera. Okay. Thank you. All right, and then I'm gonna just a little, little bit too much on my brush. There we go. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white highlights in on the tree. Not too many because you don't want it to disappear against this white here. So I'm kind of staying away from there, but I just wanted a little bit more definition on his branches to make him look like he's like got some snow sitting, sitting on him. That's good. And let's do the same thing to this guy while we've got him. I just cleaned out my brush. What color was I using this one? Got some blue in there. This is that white. Actually, I think I'm going to use a little bit of that light green that I used in this other tree. I think that'll be good with some white. Okay, let's do that. leaving a little bit of areas for the dark to show. Okay, that's good. That's enough. Just a little bit of, of white on there. Mm -hmm. Make it look like it's got some snow. Karen says she likes seeing how you sketch out your artwork before you paint. I like to see how people, different people process it. I mean, usually, honestly, when I'm doing these little ornaments like this, I like to sort of just freehand it. But since I was doing this today, I thought I probably would do better to have a plan, <laughs> so not just try to wing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my sketchbook is very bare. It doesn't have a whole lot. Actually, that's an, another project that we're going to be doing sometime. We'll do some paisleys. But and there was my sketch for my flower painting that I did. Here's my deco art. There's my owl. So pretty much just been doing my sketches for my videos. But when it comes to my regular art, I like to sketch straight onto the canvas and just do it with paint. I like to work it out on the canvas for some reason. That's just sort of my process. So my sketchbooks are laughably um, bare and they're not, they're not very interesting. <clears throat> usually said that Mark is only painting three that way he has a chance to take a few bites of soup in between. oh good <laughs> I know y'all can went straight from cinnamons to this one so let's I'm gonna add a little bit more white to him because he was getting a little bit gray 
Same thing with this guy. Just in the brightest areas, they are. We did a we did a painting and we didn't even plant it in uh, cinnamon. We <laughs> we both do our shows on Saturdays, so it kind of just naturally works for a collaboration, anyways, for us. Because um, I get one for the first time, and I go straight to the other. Exactly. Artist, so. Yep, <laughs> works out really good. Okay, so let's put in some of our details now. We're ready for, I want to put in my little um, easel on this dude. And he's going to be, let's go ahead and do, hmm, I'm trying to think what color I want for my canvas. Let's go ahead and just do a white canvas. So he's like just starting his, well, no, let's do the, let's do the blue, this darker blue. So like he's painting this one or something. Hmm. Might not work. A little bit darker. I want his little painting to be right here. And so the if you do your square sort of at an angle here to look like it's sort of tilted towards him a little bit. Yeah, oh, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Oh, my goodness. Nancy is my favorite aunt. Don't tell my other aunts that, but she, she was there when we lived with them for a while in college, and she's got the most wonderful, my cousins are so fun. She's got the most wonderful family. I love my Aunt Nancy. Okay, I'm to do, whoops. Okay, so I'm doing a little snowman dude here that he's like painting his friend on his canvas. You could even get fancy and put your branches in. I'm not going to right now because I don't want to run out of time. So let's go ahead and put in the easel. I'm using raw sienna. And I'm going to grab some burnt umber here. My paints are definitely drying out. This is not good. Oh, she says, I love you. I love you too, Nan. <laughs> Oops, that was too watery. So if you do that, you can really carefully dab it off there. Okay. Get more water mixed in with that. There we go. And then I'm just going to pick up just a little bit of that raw sienna too. My paints are fighting me here. They're not cooperating. They're being sticky. Okay, there we go. We'll probably go, we're going to go till they're finished, but it'll probably be another, uh, well, another half hour at least, if not another hour. I'm hoping to be done by 5.30 at the latest, because we started at 3.30, so. 5.30 Central Time? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there. Oh, yeah, sorry. 5.30 Central. And I'm going to do two little legs for our easel here. A little top of it right there. And then the other leg would be coming from there, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and do it like that. I don't know that that's probably not at all the right perspective, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> okay, then at the feet of this guy, I want him to have a little bit of snow. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of white with my brush, and I'm just going to lay in some Okay, I've got this water all over my palette now. It's not soaking into my paints. It's just causing problems. I know. Yep. I'm going to just put in a little bit of snow, like around the base of those, the easel, like he's got some snow has been pushed up around it. 
Little de those little details really make sell it, you know. You just take the time for a little extra details. Okay, there we go. So we got some snow, and we're going to go ahead and kind of mimic that sort of pattern over here too, so it doesn't look like it's the only place. There we go. Whistle. What's whistle Somebody sing? Somebody order some food. <laughs> <laughs> um, whistle can't get any food. He was saying, uh, saying that they don't allow fast food in his area or something. So he has to drive 45 minutes to get fast food. So, <laughs> poor guy. I'm going to put some snow in our canvas here, too. We, our snowman's got to have some place to sit. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to get too detailed with him because I don't want to. I could spend all day on him for it sure. Says it looks like the sun is sparkling on the snow. The way yeah. Looks, I guess. Good. That's that's the idea at least. So I guess we're we're in the right direction. So let's put his little hat in. Um, oops, that's purple. Didn't want that color. I'm going to use black. This is carbon black, but you can use whatever black you happen to have. And actually, if this was my, I probably ought to put a colored beret on him because I would probably not do a black beret, but I thought it'd be cute. So I'm just gonna, this is my round, or my number four round, and I'm just setting it down. And I'm gonna pull a big oval shape there. I'm not really, doing a whole lot with it. It's kind of curved on the end and then I'm going to sort of widen it on one side. Whoa, not that much. There we go. Thank you. Just down. <laughs> now I keep pulling it towards myself because that's more natural for me. Okay, then I'm going to just use the very tip and just do a little dot for the top of the beret. Oh, he's so cute. Mm -hmm. can't stand it. <laughs> so cute. Somebody's messing around and joked and said, I'd like to see her paint that lion on that big <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> no better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's set him aside, and I think I'm going to grab this guy because he's also going to have that black hat on him. And we'll do him. I hope this is not too confusing, switching back and forth between these, but um, it's the most efficient way of painting. This is kind of how I do it. It's probably kind of chaotic, but it's sort of, once I've got a color out, I sort of like to use it up. Um, in as many places as I can. So this this top hat, he's kind of set off to the side here. So I'm going to just come down over the top of my circle just a little bit. And let it kind of come out the edge and sort of cut off the top part of his head a little bit. And then it's curved just slightly. And then it comes off just a little bit off the back end of his head, too, on this side. So maybe a little bit farther out on this front end. My table is squeaking. You hear that? Every time I lean down on it, I need to move it away from this other table over here. They, they can't hear it on the mic? Okay, good. Well, it annoys me. Okay, so over the top of the hat, it's got a little sort of a square that's squeezed in just slightly. And, oops, didn't mean for that brush to do that. Let's see if I can get that off. There we go. Okay, there we go. 
while that's wet, I'm going to go ahead and just put in the highlight on this hat. Pick up some white with that brand, or that uh, black that's already in there, and I'm just going to kind of run it across the top and side of my hat there. Blend in just a little bit of a highlight. That'll save me time later. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab my beret and do the same thing with him. With a little bit of that white, and we'll just put a little highlight on the top of our beret. There we go. Oh, hope you can see that. She can hear the table? Yeah, it's like get this little squeak, 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 squeak. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we need to do with this guy. Let's figure out. I think I'm going to do a like a oops, like a stocking cap on this guy just like I did here. And I think, what color should I make it? I'll let you guys decide what color. We need a color for the scarf and a color for his hat. So while you're deciding that, I'm gonna do this one because I know that this one's gonna have a green scarf. So let's use this green that we mixed up here. Do we have some colors? No. no. Oh, they're delayed. That's right. Bonnie says, good golly, Angela does the painting extremely well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and using such a small canvas. Yes. <laughs> they can be tricky, but if you have the right size brush, it's actually really fun. Bonnie says pink, Lisa says red. Pink and red. Two reds. Red. Okay. Ooh, fuchsia. Quinacridone. Okay. Yeah, I go with quinacridone. Because we use, yeah, all right. That sounds good. I'm going to use that one. All right, so there's my green. I think I'm going to do. And then this one's going to come up over the top, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the dark green to my brush. And that way, when I bring it down over, it's going to show up a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. I'll use a little bit of that dark green here too for like a little shadow underneath this one. Okay, and we'll put a little bit of the dark green on the sides while we've got it in our brush here. And then I'm going to clean off my brush and just blend out any little areas that are needing some extra attention. Don't get too fussy. It's actually, see, there we go. You can actually get pretty good effects just by kind of doing one stroke. There we go. Okay. And then at the tip, I'm going to use, I actually can use this toothpick. Let's do that. I'll show you a little bit more work with this toothpick, and we'll do some little. I'll run it through that paint. It's getting so sticky. We'll pull down some little fuzzies. This works better with craft paint. <laughs> Rose says, snowmen aren't known for their fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, because when we make a snowman, we usually, whatever's left That's over. That's right, yeah. Wanted. What do we not care if it right. gets ruined? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Denise Russo just showed up. Denise, thank you for joining us. We've got a lot of good folks here tonight. We've got a good group. 
Maybe for a little while, people are grabbing snacks and okay. they kind of come and go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so there's a little scarf. And I'm going to let that dry and then we can put in some little details on him some more. I think people are going to be using I know. <laughs> they work great. They're great for these little mini paintings. They can't hear you? Oh, you're being quiet. <clears throat> oh, I forgot his little earmuffs. Let's do his earmuffs with a, another color. Actually, you want to do... No, that's good. Sorry, I'm talking to myself again. <laughs> I forget I'm can't I'm on mic here. I was when I was filming that the cinnamon was talking about how you kind of get in that zone when you're painting and you get kind of get mellow and um, your voice changes and that is so true because I was when I was editing my video yesterday for the um, the trees the metallic trees like at the very beginning of the video I'm all like hey Angela I'm Angela Anderson and I'm like really loud and then by the end of the video you could barely hear me like literally I was like mumbling really softly into the mic and I thought oh not good not good I need to keep my volume up um, let's do like a little bit darker green for his earmuffs so we're in the same He's color coordinated. We're just doing little dots along the side of his head here. Cute. Kind of letting him be fuzzy. Cover over a little bit the face, not too much. Once we get all of these little details together, the faces are the last thing we'll do because they're the most fun. I always save them for last and they go really fast. So if anybody has to go and they want me to do one, I'll do one real quick. But generally I'm just going to do them all together because they'll be pretty much all the same as far as the technique goes. I'm putting a little bit of that lighter green in there just for a little bit of highlight. Okay, I think that's good. <clears throat> and then let's get some of this black hair. If you wouldn't mind, honey, making me a new palette. <laughs> Which my paints are getting sticky. So what do I do? Just blob everything around? A little bit of each. Well, never mind. I think I'll I'll make do. It'll be fine. We're almost done. You thought better. Yeah, I did. I did think better of it. <laughs> when I hear your, when I hear the tone of your voice, I realize, uh oh, what happened there? Okay, so we're just I gonna. I want to know, Witzel, do we all get to have an opinion on the carpet that you're putting into your? <laughs> oh, Witzel's now. putting in carpet. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh boy. It's a big conversation piece. All right, I'm going to brush. I can't do it with the toothpick. This paint is too thin, too thick. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's start putting in, well, let's see. we got to get his hat on. We decided the quinacridone, magenta, quinacridone. I, I'm saying it wrong. Somebody who told me the right way. Quinacridone. And this one is kind of like, it's actually pretty similar to that color here. And let's see, he is looking this way. So we're going to do his hat. I've got a little bit of white at the top here. It's kind of similar to the top hat as far as the way I'm doing it, I'm going a little bit outside of my boundaries and I'm cutting off the top of the head a little bit at an angle. And then I'm going to go some straight color over the top, nice and dark. 
and leaving it sort of fuzzy because those hats, those cable knit hats are kind of fuzzy. We'll do a little pom-pom at the top. Okay. I'll probably put in some shadows in there. <clears throat> we'll get our numbers back up a little bit. More. I'm gonna got I've got some purple here. I'm gonna use the purple and put in some shadows right along where that hat meets the top. I'm just barely tapping a little bit of color in there. And a little bit on there, and then I'm gonna put a little bit at the bottom of his hat brim too. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to use it and do a few little like stripey lines in it to give it some direction there. Detail. And let's add some white to that. We'll put a little tiny bit of, whoops, it's too bright. Too white, too white, back up. <laughs> okay, a little bit, there we go, that's better. Let's put some white. And right here. Carolyn, you're being quiet tonight. Was there anything going on? Any more questions? No, you can hear Mark and his head laughing as you I know. <laughs> stuff. But not anything so much artistic. <laughs> so, <laughs> isn't it fun? <laughs> isn't it a fun family? It movie? is, I know. <laughs> I know. There's one more thing on the, the pink name. Oh. I don't know if we can say it right. I know. You would think, I don't know, whoever came up with that name needs to, you know, have a talk with some artists because get it together, guys. I think that hat is so cute. Red. All right, I'm going to add some. Bonnie says, Angela, my jaw is dropping in all of the shaping and shading. Oh, good. Isn't that fun? Really cute. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. I think I want to put in our arms now. So I'm going to switch to my liner brush. And I'm picking up some burnt umber here. My toothpick is floating in my water. I don't know how he got in there. I murdered my toothpick. He's drowned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he is floating. He's just <laughs> he's swimming. <clears throat> Cashmere. What is the problem, Cashmere? <laughs> She's not getting enough attention from her men. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to put um, these narrow canvases are a little bit tricky because you don't have a lot of room to work with here. Mark is asking if you're going to do it the mm -hmm. way. <laughs> ah. <laughs> are you suggesting? It actually would be a good idea, especially for those of you who are watching. Yeah. Rose says, let's have a girl the next time. A girl, okay. Snow girl. Oh, snow girl. Well, our little artist one will be a little snow girl, I guess. We'll put some little eyelashes on her. Put a hang a thong. <laughs> put a bra on. Put a bra on. What? <laughs> 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 yeah. Back for a snow they no. all fed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Try 
trying to figure out. And this one I had his arm coming up here, but it almost looks like it's going to be too short there. So I might do it kind of coming up. Let me see. Cashmere's talking to her daddy over there. She's trying to tell him what he needs to do. She probably needs some food or some just some attention. Well, I mean, she can get up back there and get her food. I know. I, I don't know what her deal is. No, she's she just gets to where she needs some attention sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's do our arm coming down and across like this. We'll have our little lights strung up and his little arms. That'll work. When you start your arms, they kind of kind of come, think about shoulders and then where your arms would come in would be sort of right underneath that. So try to, of course, it's not like you can look at a reference photo of a natural snowman in the wild, you know, so. <laughs> Wherever you decide to put your arms is where they are, so. Okay, that's good, I think. We'll try to drape some of our lights around it right there. Well, let's get this guy. Oh. <laughs> Very true. So this guy was going to have his hands up like this and have a little bird in one of them. What do we do? This branch kind of coming up. Oop, got some water there. Pigment Violet 19? Hmm. Yeah, that rolls off the tongue. Doesn't it? <laughs> oh, he's like. Da, 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 da. I tell you, artists have such creative minds. I know. Sometimes it comes out of their mouths and on a computer keyboard. <laughs> arms going up. I'll put a little birdie in his hands. This one, we're getting close to the end here. Put a little bit more details in these, but they're pretty getting pretty close. This one's had his arms kind of coming out and back around. A little bit thicker where they meet the body. And then we'll put some little little shadows in here so that they look like they're attached to something. Probably should have put our gift in first. Find some music again. No. All right. <clears throat> See? Quinacridone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is supposed to have his little arm sort of up here, kind of coming up like that. I didn't want to cover over the cover over the canvas too much, so I had to angle it up a little bit. And then his arms coming down here and in. And then the palette, I'll make this the raw sienna color here. We'll just do our palette in like this. Kind of a kidney shape. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm sure that bug, yeah, you hear it the wrong way over and over again. That would get old. I said it wrong a long time before I realized what the right way was. This palette is getting quite large, sorry. It's probably bigger than it needs to be, but whatever. Okay, we'll let that kind of set up a little bit. I'm just going to use this color over here in my easel to highlight it a little bit. We pick up some unbleached titanium and throw a little highlight on it too. Put some of that highlight in our palette. table is driving me crazy. So I'm going to use this color in all of our branches. <coughs> this is the Rossiana. I'm just going to kind of touch up all of our little branches here and give them a little bit of this color. Now this is something you can leave out if you're doing this with kids. You could just use a brown with the branches. but helps add a little extra detail. <clears throat> and let's see, I think I want to put my brush in with a phthalo blue. We'll pretend like he's holding the Or she this is our little girl one isn't it it's our like artist one I do a little brush here oh, I'm kind of almost off the canvas there sorry what are you laughing at this is I'm a working. family show. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I'm just here. what did you post? They're talking about the the snowman with the arms in front, and it kind of looks like it's pregnant. You know, oh, pregnant. yeah. <laughs> but I said that it looks that there would be a present there soon, and it would look like he was an Eskimo kid. Oh no! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, it would not. You're bad. You're banished from the studio. That is not happening. They're on their own. <laughs> You're a bad, bad person. That was a funny that was a funny skit, I have to say. That was pretty awesomely funny. Okay, so I'm putting in my little brush. I decided that uh, I was trying with yellow ochre and some brown, but it was not. Sorry, I keep getting these water drops. Um, not showing up, so I switched back to some unbleached titanium in there. Okay. Now we may go a little bit over than two hours. Because <laughs> we still don't let me forget to add our snow. Because I forgot last time to add snow So to this cardinal when we were painting the cardinal. Let's put a little bit of red on the tip of this brush to show it off. We'll put some red in our palette. Put some orange in our palette. Instead of Van Gogh, we can do Van Snow. Van Snow. <laughs> Van Snow. Oh. <laughs>
that's perfect. I really want to make one of these like large. Um, actually, um, I got a big snowman um, blank from Hobby Lobby. It's made out of styrofoam. It's like a big, it's over there. I don't know. You can hand it to me, but yeah. There, see? So I'm going to make myself a whoop, an artist snowman out of him. Oh my gosh, this one is going on my tree. I love this guy. He's so cute. If I do say so myself. This is Cinnamon's. I told Cinnamon to do an, a snowman nutcracker, and she told me to do, a, or an artist nutcracker, and she told me to do an artist snowman. So great minds got together to come up with this concept. This was fun. Super fun. And actually makes sense because I have a snowman collection and I have a ton of snowmen already and I do have a couple of them that I have a snowman uh, artist that I got up in Seattle. It's an ornament. It's one of my favorites but it's made out of wood and uh, I think it's my only one that I have that's an artist one so this will be great. I'm adding blues. Oh, with the fuzzy hair. That would have been so cute. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so cute. I love that idea. I love me some Bob Ross, but I'm telling you, it does not work with acrylics. I know the hard way. I tried to do the Bob Ross stuff in college when I was first learning to paint, and I did it. I didn't have oils, I had acrylics, and oh my goodness, they, yeah, it does not work. Totally Kelly different. Put an owl hat on her head and call it a call cinnamon. It. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, I need a little hole in my thing there, so I guess the hole would be white because it'd be showing through. To the other side, the paint is so sticky. <laughs> yeah. And there's a little white hole through on my palette there. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I can't stand it. All right. Don't you love it when you're painting something and you're just like, this is so cute. That's me. That's me right now. You never had that problem? You've never had that problem? That is me right now. Okay. So, oh, let's put on the scarves on these dudes and this guy, and then we'll start putting in our faces and some of the finishing shadows and then our snow, and we'll be done. So this guy, I think I want a, what did I say? Oh, I didn't, didn't decide. So we said quinacridone. What were some of the other colors? Let's do a red, pink, red, pink. turquoise, magenta. Yeah, let's do turquoise for the Stephanie scarf. She loves turquoise. I do too. So I'm going to use... Snow and what? Self portraits and snow selfies. Okay, so I've got thalo blue and thalo green to make this bright turquoise color here, and I'm going to use the aqua green color that I had to go with it for my highlight color on my scarf. I'm going to use it and run it through so I've got a little bit of the light color at the top. And thank you. Oh, yeah, that looks good with the turquoise. Good idea, Stephanie. So 
cute. Okay. And then his scarf is going to be like it is. Oh, it was going to go right here. Uh oh. I'll just put it in and then worry about doing the arms again later. <laughs> what? I would. <laughs> He's like rocking out. Oh, that would be so funny, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. I wish I thought of that. Well, it depends on who you're making the snowman for. That's true. Yeah, you could totally do him with a guitar. It's hilarious. That would be too funny. Okay, so I'm gonna do my scarf there. And then the other part coming yeah, down here. Do Great. Oh. We're getting to the fun part now, so we got people coming in for the end here. They want to see the faces. I'm sure. Okay, so let me put in his arms back in. Since I covered part of that up. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some of this turquoise down in this tree, just a little tiny bit of it, just to kind of unify this color, give it a little bit of that color down in the tree. So it's really going to be posting individual pictures of these anyway. Yes, I'll take a group picture of them and post them, and then, um, yeah, I can put some individual pictures up. I probably put them up on my website um, or my blog. If I can, I'm so far behind on my blog. I have posts from Christmas last year that I realized I hadn't posted yet. I have some really cute projects that we did last year in there that I still haven't posted. I'm just, I'm a bad blogger. I let it kind of get, get behind. I've sort of dedicated this year to the YouTube thing, so I haven't spent a lot of time on some of my other normal projects. Okay, so let's do, I feel like he needs some stripes in his little scarf here, so sorry. I hope that we're not going too long on this. You can fast forward if you're watching, but. Okay, well, we've been going two hours, though, if we started at 3.30, so. 335 when we started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some stripies in his little scarf here. Oh, go around his arm there. I don't want to go. Oh, why do I keep doing that? I'm getting too impatient and I'm not letting my. They say you're making it look so easy. <laughs> Well, I hope you all try this. It's actually a lot of fun. It, it's a little tricky because of these small canvases, but if you have the right brushes, it's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to put in a little bit of this dark, dark, right along where that joins up right here. I want it to be able to show up right there. Okay. And... Let's put some little fuzzies down at the end of this one. Like some little dots or something. All right, we'll let him sit and dry. Oh, I've got some water on my artist one. It's no bueno. I leave that guy. He's pretty good, I think, except for the. Oh, let's put the gifts in here, and we gotta put our birds in this one. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to a flat brush here for my gifts, but you could probably do this with your um, with your number four if you wanted to. I'm gonna use the red. For his hat brim, put a little bit of red across the top right here. Mm -hmm. I can see 
something too too wide there. Actually, I'm going to do this with the smaller brush. Before. Okay. And some quinacridone around the sides there. Let's add a little tiny bit of black to it. Just to do a little shadow right on either side of it. There we go. All right, and let's put in our gifts with that square brush. Yeah, Mona's saying that it's in the a.m. there. <laughs> oh, is it? Like overnight a.m.? Oh, wow. Okay, let's do some of this turquoise for the gifts here. I like that color. Let's do a little square. Oh, now that you've said that, honey, that <laughs> is all I'm thinking right now. This is the wrong placement for this little gift. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. I'm so... Yeah, it really is. A, we're gonna have to send this to Jimmy Fallon or, or who who did who did that skit with him? Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's so that it is sorry, it's unintentionally uh <laughs> you're so bad. Thing. What color do we want his scarf to be? Let's do. Uh, so the small canvases were from Big Bird, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she wants to get them from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, yeah, I saw them at Hobby Lobby too. So they're either, either place. They sell them all over the place. They're pretty popular right now. I'm gonna do a red scarf on him. I want to do his scarf up. Timberlake and Adam Sandberg. Ah, that was it. Okay. <laughs> party girl, paint party girl. I'm not is sure. It, I'm is that asking? Snowballs in a box. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. So not did not mean to place that there, but that's okay. So funny. Okay, I feel like I want to do another something down here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna mess with it. <laughs> hey, cool. Said step one: cut a hole in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are too bad. Now they're all going to be looking that up. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it. <laughs> so not referencing that at all in any way. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. So sorry. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Don't even. Sorry. Go there. <laughs> they said you could send this one to Fallon. <laughs> I should. Because he loves Timberlake. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's put our little red kernels in the trees over here. <laughs> and people are getting pretty. I know. <laughs> They've been watching art for like five hours at this point. Mm. Oh my goodness. If you came from Cinnamon Show, oh, I can't get this open. Then somebody said they're going to go watch a card making show after this. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Somebody asked if has anybody ever used stickles, glitter, glue, or water. Yeah, it works fine. Stickles works fine. Yeah, I have used that. 
Okay, I've got. I <laughs> know, I had to make the box bigger. So, <laughs> can fit it all in there. Yeah, that's. Somebody says, well, that's why we have a time frame only two hours on this one. Yeah, this, must, so. this must be why she wanted yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> so, time frame could be the artist that comes here. Yep. <laughs> So if you're okay, that the kids' eyes and ears are averted. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if you saw how I did that bird, but I did a larger dot, then a little smaller dot, and then I used the back end of a, you can use a toothpick, but I have a little uh, stylus tool here. And then I'm going to put a little dot in with some orange for his little beak. If I can get it in there. There we go. That worked out. If you wanted to get real fancy, you could make it. Well, I guess I probably need, do need to give him a little crest on there so that he looks like a little cardinal since he is the little red bird. Okay, there we go. And then I might put one more up in the tree. Whoop. One more back here. Let's see where we want to put it. Right up here. Bonnie says you're killing me, Angela, with your tips and tricks. Well, good. I hope that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to dip in here and make it look like it's behind this branch. Right there. And then we'll put a little forehead on him too. Oh, and a little beak coming off the side. There we go. You could probably, if you wanted to get really technical, you could probably put a little bit of black around him, but I'm not going to mess with it, get too detailed right now, because we are trying to finish these guys. Let's do some details on his. This scarf here, let's put some little polka dots in the scarf. Um, yellow? Okay. <laughs> yellow. They don't start a whole new conversation. Want, but they didn't want yellow in the snow. So like, oh, oh yeah. right. Well, we'll put some yellow <laughs> in this scarf. Oh, yeah, I know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Do some of that. This table is jacked up tonight. This getting out some liquid acrylics here because they work better for dots and things. And put some yellow. Blue. I'm not sure what I'm going to need here, so I think I'll do like a light yellow with this green and see how that looks. That looks cute. Let's do a little, few little polka dots. Isn't that fun? Yeah. You could really fill it up with them if you wanted to do some really cute put a few little polka dots in here too. Okay, that's good. I think he's about ready for a face. Put a little shadows. Let me see. Oh, we didn't do a scarf on him. Let's see, well, my scarf would be teal, so we're doing teal on him. So I'll do this aqua color. Maybe a little bit of blue with it, too. Thalo blue and aqua. There you go. Blue 
blowing in the wind. Scarves are very French too, so we got a little French artist snowman. <clears throat> what? Oh, it's gonna be like school break or rest day. Oh, too late. Sorry. You can do some little fuzzies at the end there. I'm going to do some lighter color. Use a little bit of highlight. There you go. <clears throat> feeling connected there. There we go. Okay, we're getting close. Daniel says that she loves me so much. Good. Super fun. Okay, now, so we got him, we got him. We need to put a few little stripies in his scarf here. We'll put the quinacridone because that was our background color. We'll make our blue and scarf get it, give it some quinacridone with a little tiny bit of white. And we'll do some little stripes in that scarf. make it look like it's coming around like that. Okay. All right, let's do our box here. And we'll put some little Let's put some metallic stripes in his little scarf. I had meant to do some more metallics today, but I don't know. We're going kind of late, so I'm probably not going to do as many of those as I wanted to. But what I thought you could do, well, we'll put a little bit in the snow. We'll just do a little bit over the top and add some bling to his little body. This is uh, white iridescent. Probably could have put this on before we put on our details, but I think it's all right. And maybe put a little bit of details in the tree too. A few little dots here. I'm going to start moving a little faster so we can get this done. Maybe put a little bit of a snowflake over the top of his hat here. I don't know, that might have been a little too big, but whatever. For the gift, we'll put on some ribbon, black. And here again, you could use the um, toothpick for this detail. You don't want to have to paint it in with your liner brush.
There we go. Put in some white highlights over the top of that. There we go. And then his hands got painted over, so we're going to put his hands back in with our Mom is wondering what everybody in America is saying. Oh, tonight. she's never. <laughs> we are having fun. Mona probably doesn't get the reference unless she watches Saturday Night Live. <laughs> oh, some of these are pretty easy to get. <laughs> <laughs> I think there will be a little upswing on the people looking up those videos tonight. Okay, so I'm going to use my flat brush. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of the Thala Blue on the corner so it's just loaded on one side here you can wet down that paint a little bit to make this easier and I'm going to kind of come in and put in some darker shadows along the bottom of some of these Wipe it off if you get too much on there. Just wipe off your brush and then blend back over it. The paint party girl says she's just high on life. <laughs> I think I want to do just a tiny bit of gray. So I'm going to add a little bit of black and white over here. Maybe a little tiny bit of my phthalo blue. Make kind of a soft gray. And I'm going to use this as my shadow color for just running that corner through it. I'm going to put this color up underneath his scarf here, along his arms. Get too much, just wipe it off underneath his scarfs and his hats. And then I'm going to put some in the snow over here too, underneath him. And underneath the tree. Okay, yeah. so all these little, little last minute details will really help. Let's go ahead and put in the faces actually. Now that I think about it, I think that will, then we'll put in all of our shadows so we can shadow our eyes and things too. So, let's see, I didn't put in. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I'll put, mm -hmm, I'll post them somewhere. So you can now see them. You're not stamping on the details. I really like it. Good, good. All right, so this guy's looking up this way, so I think I'm going to put his two eyes up here. And I'm using a liquid acrylic, so that way when I do these dots, it's a little bit easier. You can use a toothpick for this, or you could use your, if you have a stylus tool like I do, use that. I'm kind of doing a little bit of an oval shape for these eyes. Trying to get them that same. There we go. Trying to get them the same size there. You could even use a, a marker um, for this if you wanted to, like if you had a good permanent marker. I'm gonna use my cadmium orange here. And I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of that brown. That'll work. Cadmium orange with a little bit of the brown on one side. 
Oh, sorry. I'll do the raw sienna and see if that helps. It's kind of a raw sienna burnt umber mix there. And his nose is going to go up this way. So I'm going to set it right between underneath that one eye and pull it up. Just lift up on the brush as I go there. If you want to use a fluid acrylic, um, well, let's try that. Let me mix a little bit of this fluid acrylic with the yellow. See if I can make an orange out of it that we can use for the noses. So I want to show you how to pull them, especially for kids. This is a lot easier for them to do it this way than to try to... If you have a craft acrylic, you could use that. This a craft acrylic for this. Let's see. That's working okay. It's not quite as vibrant as I'd like. But it'll work for our purposes so this is a fluid acrylic I'm dab dabbing in with a stylus or a another tool I'm going to set it down and then I'm just going to draw it draw on your nose shape with it makes it a lot easier than having to try to paint it in and I'm going to grab some red and see if I can do a little shadow on it with the red. There we go. Use the small end of it. That'll work. Yeah. Oops. I got these for like $2 on Amazon. They were a set of like four um, nail acrylic or nail styluses. So if you look for nail tools, they're really cheap and they work great for painting. I paint on my nails. With those? And I use them for tracing too so they don't punch through the um, tracing paper. So if you're using a tracing, they're great for that. Let me get my liner brush back out here. This guy's nose was kind of right here, pulling up. We'll go ahead and put the little nose on this guy too. And then this one, his nose was pointing down. So the back end's a little bit rounded, and then I'm just going to pull it to a point there. Let me get a little bit of a darker color, put a shadow in underneath, just a small line of shadow underneath the carrots. Almost done here. Need to put some shadow color on these guys. The color is drying out. That was that gray that I mixed. So I think he's okay. I'm going to put some of this underneath him. And to one side a little bit and then around his arms and under his scarf. Just a little bit under his hat. Okay. Maybe even some underneath on this snow. Okay, that's good. I don't want to get too fussy with it. Let's put in our eyes.
the more you do this, um, the more times you dot it, the smaller your dots will get. So, so if I want small dots like this, I just dot it a couple of times on my palette before I come up to my painting so that my dots are a little bit smaller. That's good. Oh, cute. Oh, I need to add eyelashes to her, don't I? That's supposed to be a little girl. Gotta do eyelashes. Boy, these her eyes are so tiny. This is gonna be interesting. We'll do a little eyelashes here. Let me use the liner brush. Do it very, very small. Cute. Mm. You could do her little mouth in red if you wanted to make her even more girly. And then I'm going to do a little white for her eyes. That's good, now I think. Now we have a girl, snow girl. I know. Isn't she cute? I didn't think her eyes are a little close together, but all right. It's all right. She looks a little cross-eyed. A little dots in his eyes. I feel like he needs another gift down here, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just going to leave it as is. So. Nope. I uh, know. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put her hand in here. Like she's holding on to her palette. We'll do a little darker line underneath there. Okay, so this guy is about done, I think. Let's... Don't forget the snow spider. Yes, thank you. I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow under that carrot nose. Okay, so that one, we'll call it good. That one, we'll call it good. I'm not putting any mouth on him. Um, this one needs some eyes, so we'll just use this liner brush to get it out. Do the mouth with the side of the brush there and just do a little smirk, like he's kind of smirking. And yeah, then, hanging in there. good. All hanging. Thank you guys. I'm sorry this went so long today. I didn't realize it's been a while since I have done this project, so I didn't realize how long it was going to take me. We'll do a long smiley for this one. Oh, and we need to do the lights. Okay, so. Doing a little Christmas lights. Kind of going behind the tree there. Over his hand. I'm just doing like wavy lines. And then we'll do the Christmas lights along here. These are pretty fast. Just do a little sockets for each one of the lights. So a little tiny bit of black where each one of these lights is supposed to go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to fix the eyes on that, but I'll do that later. So let's do, I'm going to get a small, like a number two. This will make the, the light bulbs a little easier to hand manage. We'll do the... Quinacridone 
magenta with some white. are getting sticky okay so we'll put a few bulbs in so we'll do let's see red pink orange yellow green blue purple red One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Orange. Sorry, forgot this step. Mm -hmm thinking we're going to be done and then I keep adding more stuff. Sorry guys. We'll get out of here sometime tonight. Orange. These are getting too sticky. This paint is super sticky. Okay. So we should be able to, if you do it right, just set it down and lift. There we go. Set it down and lift. There we go. Take your time. Okay. Just hanging out. Okay. Karen Bailey says we're going to hit six hours of videos today. <laughs> Y'all <Yay. laughs> are awesome. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with this. This is both me and Cinnamon ended up with marathon sessions today, not by plan, just by happenstance. Yeah, Danielle says, don't apologize. Come on, it's all good. You're not holding us hostage. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we want That's to true. Oh, good. Okay. Well, then I will just kick back and enjoy it. I think my co-hosts are ready to go, though. <laughs> More worried about them than anybody. Other than my tush being, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Your tush going to yeah, just leave yeah, there, I'm Carolyn? Oh, oh, oh there. Yeah. Back from me. Oh. <laughs> oh it's a Karen. Karen said it. Uh -huh. Karen's too much like Karen. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I thought you, that's what you said too. We just need to buy some better chairs for the There you go. <laughs> I know. I'm in my new chair tonight. I got a new chair. I like it. All right. It's working out pretty good, I think. It's a little bit of hostage to people. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we've got good numbers tonight. That's awesome. We've we've held steady pretty good. This is my first live stream without cinnamon that's had good what? Got a snowman with a present. She's looking over at the one hanging light says, hey, why does your why does your light still on from your other one? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. That will go down in infamy, I swear. I think that's one of my most... Um, Depends on the crowd of people. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, this crowd loves it. Yeah. It's like Cinnamon when she was doing that lighthouse and we were all joking that it looked phallic. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was very, very symbolic. <laughs> yes, it really did look like... Uh, which something she did not intend it to look like at all. Pretty funny. 
It was it was hilarious. The chat was cracking me up. Okay, purple. If I planned this out right, I would have done this at the same time I did my palette, but I didn't, so that's just what happened. This reminds me of our new Christmas lights. We just got some new LCD. LED, sorry, LED. What's LCD? <laughs> LCD is a liquid crystal display. Got it. Not LCD. Whoops, that one's a little bit big. So anyhow, we got, we normally have like just regular crystal clear Christmas lights on our tree, but I decided I wanted some color. So we got some of those chasing Christmas lights and uh, they're really cool. But then we have one that's decided it doesn't want to work. So we, but we already have all of our ornaments on our tree. So it's not like we can take it down and return it at this point. Sure. Okay. Fun. Okay, well, I don't know what happened with this one. While these are still wet, if you want to make adjustments, this is the time to do it. I'm just using a wet. No, no, I said if you want to make adjustments. Yeah. This is the time to do it while they're wet. Okay, and if you want to get real fancy, you can go in here and put in little highlights in them. I did that with mine, but I'm not going to take the time to do all of them right now. I think that I'm going to do this tree a little bit darker on the bottom here. A little bit more color. <laughs> Rose says those tiny canvases are sewed by the Keebler elves. <laughs> <laughs> you may be right. <laughs> okay, so that one's done. That guy is done. Yes, no, though. Unless, no, not yet. I'm just making sure that I got all my details yeah. in. This girl is done. Okay. Yeah, I think they're done. I think. I think we are done. Let's put some snow on these guys. Now, at this point, if you wanted to, you could bling them up with some glitter or whatever else you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and get my handy toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, it really is cool with the iridescent paint on it. And I'm going to pick up some of this. Actually, I think I'm going to just get a clean spot because I don't want to get any of these colors in it. I'm going to get a clean plate. Put out some liquid acrylic. about those cold buttons. Oh, yeah. I didn't put buttons on them. Okay. Thank you. Let's do that. This is the only one that's got room for it. We'll do a few buttons on him. Well, we're making them irregular because they're cold, so. There we go. I'll just do two. And actually, I was going to do a little heart on him. Somebody asked if the red scarf guy will get a mouth. No, I think I was leaving the mouth out on him just just for, just variety. because, yeah, for variety. I think I want to do a heart on his bottom of his thing. So I'm going to do two. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah, two circles. Side by side. I just felt like he needed something else down down low. And then I'm going to use the... Is it a tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
He's hardcore. Oh, <laughs> no, we need him silent with his little blue package. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like he needs a little more, another little bird down here, too. Down low. I forgot to put feet on them. Okay. We already thought we were done. These people are going back and forth over who needs a mouth and heart. Yeah, he doesn't need to talk. That's awesome. Okay, that's better. I feel like I just needed another little something down here. And her eyes are bugging me, so I'm going to do before well, I, I'm sorry. Do, I'm sorry. Snowman can look like they want it to look. That's <laughs> right. Too. You can add a mouth if you need right. one. Yeah. yeah, I did different mouths so that you, I did like three different or four different ways here so you could see different styles okay I had to cover over that because she was cross-eyed let me try that again that's better okay all right let's start doing our snow let it snow I'm gonna move everything out of the way so we don't have any accidents here on anything important. Yeah, get them all on camera here. I feel like I need to dry this off real quick here. I got a new hair dryer, so it's not as loud. I just need to dry the new dots here. This one and this this one's really quick before we do the. snow because I'm afraid if it if I make a mistake with the snow I won't be able to take it off I could do I guess close enough. All right, got a toothbrush here. I'll wet it down a little bit with some fluid acrylics. And then I'm going to touch it off on a paper towel. Hold it in my fist real close up and point it down towards where I want my canvas to go. I'm going to do a test splatter just to see how it's looking. Yeah, that's looking all right. Okay. The more watery it is, the bigger your splatters will be. So if you want really big snowflakes, you add a little bit more water to your paint. Oh, so cute. Just add something to have that snow. I'm going to do a little bit more in the corners so it looks like it's kind of got that halo effect. I think we're good. Zoom in on each one of these individually so you can get a good look at them. There's our one with the tr Christmas tree lights. There's our one with the gift in the box. <laughs> There's our little Snowy Cardinal Snowman. So cute. And here's our little artist in the snowman. Little girl. Little girl. 
paint my friend. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thanks for sticking with me for two and a half hours or however long it was. <laughs> Finally, in the end, almost a little over two hours, I guess. Or no, it's been longer, two and two hours, four or five minutes. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> now you know how long these are going to take. So <laughs> thanks so much today. We'll see you next time in two weeks. I'll be doing another show with Carolyn. Next week, I'm going to be doing Christmas cookies. So I'll be decorating Christmas cookies. I think I might do a live show on Friday. So I'll put the event up and put my links in my thankful art group. So if you try these projects, I'd love to see them and you can post them there on and the, the link is in the description. So thanks everybody so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye.